Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today I wanna to talk to you about several of these gateways that are coming up. Uh, we have a 6-6, we have the solstice, and there's another one in July. And this is a gateway that's gonna have quite a push. So I wanna to talk to you about that and what this closure means. So today, here what I've written on the board is what's been up in the air is settling down to earth. Some of you are probably going to feel that you've had, uh, you know, like things up in the air, uncertainties about things. This is energy of delay. You're going to feel a time compression because time is changing. Your perception of time is going to change. Some of you are feeling it. Some of you are feeling it very much like a crunch, a squeeze or an acceleration or a push or something that feels, makes you feel uncomfortable. Like the universe is pushing you and you're saying, I don't know what, 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 what is my direction? What am I doing? Now, the other part of this energy is going to mean that projects go on hold and there's a reason for that. The reason he has to do with structure. Now, when I talk about structure and order, many people think, oh, this means the structure of my life. Well, I have a pretty good life and you might have a good life, but no, I'm talking about the structure of your body so that you can hold your union. And that's what needs focusing on. That's the part that any projects you might have might actually go on hold until you take care of some things or you clear things, or you put closure to something. Your body is no longer going to hold aspects of the past, whether it's patterns, whether it's relationship patterns. And you know that that happens, not even just between two different genders. It happens in same gender relationships too. We're going to give each other the cold shoulder treatment. We're going to use sarcasm. We're going to um, pull everything out that we've ever used with anybody else and try it on our twin, okay? And it won't work. It just will not work. And that's part of, that's only part of what's being closed here. Some of you have been feeling waves of energy and sometimes it can make you feel sick and nauseous, almost like, you know, seasick, something like that. Motion sickness, seasickness, um, you feel queasy. That's all a part of it. Time is changing and changing your direction. Now, there's a thing to know. And someone had asked a question and said last time on my video, you talked about a timeline shift that happened last year. Yeah, it occurred in July of last year. So if some of you were to look back or you look in your journal and you say, what was I doing last July? You'll probably see some indicators of it. You're going to see that things got cut off. And that was in preparation for that major soul, um, sorry, major solar eclipse we had here in the United States. That thing made a swath completely across our country. And yet the effects, because we have just about every nationality, culture, religion and everything represented here, that did a lot to shift things. And that was in preparation for what's happening this year. So if you thought it was intense last year, especially around August, September, you're not off with that. Okay, that was the beginning of your new life. Now is the closure to the old things so that you can have that new life. But this includes your body. This includes the way that you actually felt this to begin with. How did you even feel? Okay, the, maybe the words twin flame didn't come to you. So if you were to look back and you look back all the way to the time of your childhood and you start looking and you say, yeah, this happened, that happened, that happened. And oh my goodness, I don't know why this happened, but I think that's never really happened to anyone. Um, you would realize that all of the events in your life have been sort of leading you and pushing you and changing your direction to a certain point. Sometimes you could only do your best that you could do in any given moment. And it's okay. 
you're still going to get to your destination. And that's another thing I want to reassure people about because you look around you, and I talked about this in my class on the weekend. You know, we all get it from family and friends. We get the peer pressure. We get people that say, well, why don't you do this? Or what are you doing? Or why are you holding a torch for this person? Or this, that, and the other thing. Because they don't know because they haven't had those experiences. You have. And how do you know you had that experience? Through your body. And you have connecting points to your twins so that whether like it or not, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, you will actually still be connected to that person. So why not make it better? Why not make it healthier? That person is not going away. They're connected to you. They're connected at the heart. And try as you might to say things like, well, I wish them well. I've sent them on their way. It's unhealthy, blah, blah, blah. The universe is taking a higher hand in this. Why? I'll tell you why. Because the universe wants you to to make a fresh infusion here. What's that? A fresh infusion of what? A fresh infusion of love. After all, everything is love. Even twin flames are about love. Why did I get sick? Twin flame. Why did I know that? Twin flame. But why? Because of love. Because the higher love is actually what's at work here. Now, when we talk about love, love is actually with aspects to it. And love can be considered familial love, brotherly love, but really passionate love. Really passionate love belongs to lovers, eternal lovers, people that don't go away, but keep finding their way back to each other. So this is some of the closure also, closing out the rest of whoever doesn't belong in there. And that might get odd for you. You might need a little help with that. Come and see me, schedule a session with me, schedule a reading with me. If you're stumped or you're feeling something's blocking you, come and find out. Let's get down to it. I'm not emotionally attached to any of your stuff. Unlike families and friends who are emotionally attached to you, they either care for you or they're upset with you or they can't see it and they have an emotional attachment to you, naturally they want to see you treated right. Or naturally they, you know, they have their own feelings on it. Okay, you might not need their stuff. Get someone who is not only a guide, but who is objective, who goes by your heart energy. Now, every person is uplifted with this time shift. What does that mean? Well, let me not only sort of tell you what it means, it means that for your union to be successful, everyone on the planet is getting shifted upwards, shifted up, uplifted with the timeline shift. And that's a part of what is happening at these gateways, okay? So when I say gateway, I want to put you in mind of something. Have you ever been to the airport or some kind of terminal or something where there you are and you're about to embark and get into something and you're waiting, but then suddenly the time comes and you have to start go funneling in single file into something that's going to get you to your next destination. That's kind of what this energy is. It's a little bit like being in the terminal at the airport. Okay, that might be stretching it to, you know, some people like the airport, some people don't like the airport, but um, that gives you a little bit of an idea for Twin Flames and how some of this energy is. doesn't mean you're not getting there, okay? And even if you feel that you're blocked or disfocused, there's a thing to know about that in this energy. Not only will projects be blocked, creativity is blocked. And other things like if you're unsure of career or direction, money, money issues, untangling stuff. That's a lot of what I help people with. How do you get it untangled? Does your stomach burn the minute you start thinking about the money and the steps you have to take or where you're going to live? What are you going to do? You feel a breakup coming or maybe you've broken up and you say, well, now what? 
what am I going to do? I was relying on that partner. And you're saying, where is the partner? Okay. And I can tell you where it's always connected to you, but how do you get it? The connections up to where they belong so that things are in the flow. So now I have a little bit of a demonstration for you, which I have used this before. Okay, so in one of my videos, I told you the world is your oyster, okay? And you're getting ready here. But how do you get to the level you need? It requires a lot of emotion. And that is what starts to lift you up. Now, how do you get in that level of emotion, okay? Because that might be insufficient. And how do you balance it? If you feel like your tank is empty, you're empty, okay? And how are you going to fill your tank and have the world and have the, uh, have the things that are the material comforts that lovers require? There's a thing to know. Twin flames are not here to be starving artists. You're not here to live in a hovel for the sake of love. And I have had people I've worked with who have said to me, you know what, I would live in a box if I could live there with my twin. If so-and-so were there, I would live in a box. You're not supposed to live in a refrigerator box. You're supposed to be in comfort. You're supposed to be uplifted, okay? So this is actually your high heart energy with a lot more capacity, okay? A lot more capacity. And how do you get yourself expanded where things get in the flow and you're in that beautiful watery energy where things are easy, okay? And not only that, what about things here on earth, okay? Things settle down to earth. Now, what do you notice about the medium that this is in, okay? What do you notice here? Oops, not going to get it unstuck. Okay, what do you notice here? Okay, always bouncing up, moving easily, moving easily. So what happens when she needs to get her things going in her life because the partner, either the partner is coming and she's expecting you're all expecting. You're expecting really good stuff, and you should be expecting. Okay, and I don't mean, I mean, this is a part of, you're in the cosmic birth canal, but the expectations of each other. Well, guess what? This is how you do some of this, okay? There, she's she's got her vehicle. This is actually not her yacht, but it's representing her light body. And how would you do this? Okay. Up and turning direction. You're turning direction. You're lifting up. And then you're able to go. Okay. Have you ever have you ever been to a harbor or a boat or gotten on even the smallest little kayak or canoe? Have you ever had to drag that on land and on the earth? What happens when you get it in the water? You can use one finger. You could go to a harbor and lean on someone's yacht or your yacht, and that thing will start to move. Why? Because it's in the proper medium. That is the medium of the heart. It is emotion. How do you get your heart expanded? How do you get back to feeling and, and instead of feeling angst or anxiety around your heart or tension or tightness of breath or stomach aches and queasiness, how do you do that? You do it through your twin flame body. Your twin flame body is how to navigate this. And it always is and it always has been and it always will be. Always, always, always. Okay. Not the mind. The mind is actually insufficient. The mind is for looking at an object and saying, this is a glass. Okay, not only is it a cup, it's a glass glass. It's a glass cup. 
That's what your mind is for. That's what's been hardwired. Okay. The heart, the knowingness in the heart, the knowing what you're here for. So if you want to know more, okay, if you want to do this, and I highly encourage you because I had some great response from the class I just did on the weekend. I'm on part four now, multidimensional living. This time I am guiding you on how to go out of the body. Now, for those of you who have had out-of-body experiences, I want you to know something. That's fabulous. The thing I want you to know is not everybody has. And for those who haven't, your time is coming. You may have felt ungrounded when you met someone. There's a difference between out-of-body and feeling ungrounded. Ungrounded makes you feel unstable. Going out of body, will this will actually feel stable and it will feel natural. That's what I'm going to guide you on. It is, um, some in some ways, it's very advanced and it is something that I was guided to start with. And I do encourage you, join my class. And I'm having it Friday. It's Friday evening in Chicago. It is the next morning in Australia or Asia. And I am also doing it my Sunday morning, which is Sunday afternoon in the UK and Europe at 9 a.m. Now, if you are unable to make those, I also have a live class. I have a live class here in Chicago, live in Chicago, June 16th, very close to O'Hare Airport. The links are below. And let me ask you this. Are you some kind of a professional? Are you a chiropractor? Are you an acupuncturist? Well, the class I have in September, you can get continuing edu education credits for. I don't really know any twin flamey stuff that you can learn twin flamey stuff and get CEUs for it. Okay, that's coming up in September. That's also in Chicago. And if you would like a home uh, download to do where you could uh, follow along my webinar called The New Angelic Light Body in Transition, because many of you are going through a transition that's not understandable. You're not understanding what's happening with your body. That's not a criticism. That's why some people like myself are teaching this. Not only that, I've taught people that you watch their YouTubes. They have watched me, and they've they've mentioned me in their, their YouTubes. Okay, so um, I have some good stuff. I had great feedback from this uh, live class that I did, Multidimensional Living. I had people say to me that they really felt their twin joining them and lifting them up. And that's where it's at. It's getting you back to feeling. It's not so much the mind. Of course, we all want answers. Of course, we do research. Some of you do too much re research. Get back to the feeling. Where is that love and feeling? Where is it when you have people and I'm going to ask you this. I asked this on uh, Saturday. Do you have a soundtrack to your life? Do you get songs? Do you sometimes get messages through songs? That's a normal thing for Twin Flames. Okay, so there's there's things that, you know, she'd love to say to him. Tell me, does she kiss the way I kissed you? Does it feel the same when she calls your name? The winner takes it all, the loser's standing small. And somewhere you get the idea. She's thinking like maybe she's lost in this. That's partly this energy. But if you do want to um, find out and, you know, there's, there's things that you want to strengthen and get connected with each other so that you're coming together, so that you're feeling like you're in alignment. Okay, because in... You know, this can make you feel cut off from your heart. It can make you feel like you're barren or that somehow you've been abandoned. You're not abandoned. 
You're here for love. And it's a wise person who seeks the answers, who seeks to get the love and feeling back. That's what I specialize in. That's what I like to help people with. So that not only multidimensional means the worldly things that you must still attend to because you're responsible, higher consciousness beings. You're not just running beasts. You're not just looking for a quick hit. You're here for it all. Okay. The winner takes it all. Okay. So you're looking for how do I get myself to where things flow and flow easily? How do I do that? So the links are below. Please join my class. And this is all I do. I'm going to mention that. There are people that um, have wondered about this. I do this 24-7 is what it feels like. This is full-time for me. I have a series of webinars about uh, just about every subject that comes up on comments and forums and message boards. Um, everything from inflammations to what's happening with your body. I have it not only documented, but I have things for you to do about it. And just to take that one step further, this is something that I'm going to be continuing to teach to those people who wake up. Yes, more people will wake up and, you know, please don't knock people. Be kind to people. Be kind to your family and friends who may only want the best for you. Be kind to the people that are still keeping things running while you might have been having your breakdowns or your meltdowns or whatever it is, the confusion and the purging that you go through. Be kind to the doctors that have try and find answers for you. Be kind to some of the people around you that are picking up the slack when you, because you know what? One day you might be that person returning the favor. This is happening with a sensibility and that's why it's not happening on mass. Okay. The waves, this watery energy, the stuff that makes you cry, that enables you to actually start to flow again, believe it or not. It's a paradox. As I like to say, another paradoxical situation here on earth. Okay. This planet is full of paradoxes and yet it's also a really good place to be able to um, feel, to feel things at the smallest, most finessed, poignant level possible. So thanks so much for watching and please do look for um, this one. When you get this one, I give you parts one, two, and three to catch you up. You don't have to worry about that. And I enable question and answers. People join from right inside where they're comfy, either their rooms, they're, they're, they're snuggling in their bed. And there's a lot of great feedback that people get. You can participate as much or as little as you want. So I hope to see you there. And I will be back with more. All of the things that I present are preparatory for the solstice. The solstice energy, this is this is going to be a pretty big gate. And so if you, you know, if you've ever been at the airport, yeah, you're tired of waiting. <laughs> I know you're tired of waiting. I know it. But the deadlines of what was expected to happen are already happening. So please don't never say never. All right, that's what I'm going to say. Never say never. And do be good to yourself. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you. I am available also, I'll just mention this. I'm available for reading sessions and in-person body work. I do in-person body work. That is how I started. That's how I know the energies. That's how I know false energies. Um, that's how I get people clear. I do it uh, in person. And uh, we can do it during sessions as well and in my classes. So I'm not new to this. Uh, even if you just heard the words Twin Flame or Twin Flame Journey. If you just heard about that and you're just joining, welcome. And I hope you continue watching. I have a series of videos on YouTube that cover a lot of things. But there's even more covered. 
and also my firm belief in getting you to feel the love that you're here for. So when you feel like that's sort of past you, okay, it's not, it's somewhere and I help you find it. Okay, so have a good day. Bye.